I don't. Hmm. 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 I don't know where to put this. Is it good enough? I know this is a little weird. I'm currently in my last week of like crunch time. Yeah. <laughs> oh dang, this is so weird. It's so weird, it feels weird. I thought I had until the 14th, which is in two weeks from today. And I just looked at the calendar today and realized Everything is due on the 11th, which is next week. I have to have all of my pieces done and ready to go by next week. So, you know, if you can't notice, I'm a little stressed out today. We're taking a break. We're taking a break right now. We're gonna eat lunch. I looked at my calendar and saw that it was due next week and had a little panic attack and drove to school. So now we're here. Um, probably be working all day. Next week is my first show. Not next week, but it's like coming up. Okay, I have to just, basically the show is due by next week. Everything has to be done. So, why not let's... I'm here in the studio. You know one thing that's, like... Really frustrating. The one thing that... Takes up so much time about art. Is you start a project. And you're coming towards the end of it. And you know what you need to fix? But you, it just it takes like forever like not to mention how long it takes me to set up um you know get all my paints mixed the right way even if that does happen mixing paint doesn't even it takes me like an hour it feels like sometimes like one whole hour and most of the time when i do have everything set up it takes me forever to actually paint because I'm just staring at the same thing that I've seen for the whole past year. It's a little frustrating. <laughs> it's a little, little, you know. Uh. I don't know if I should try the cheese because it might upset my stomach. And I just got in the studio and I don't want to go home with a stomach ache. The cheese looks good though. It's a bad decision. Go back to the pepperonis. I'm literally a child. <laughs> you know, this is another thing, is lunch. My entire time I have been here on campus, I've kind of made my own food. I've never ate food on campus. It's just because I don't have money for it. <laughs> it's so weird though to think about like, I've worked here for the past, what? Was it last year? Yeah, last year was our first, my first year working in here, but I just, it's gonna be so weird not ever working here on campus again. Cause for the past three years I've been here. I've really enjoyed my time here. I've grown a lot as a person you know, created a lot of things, made some friends along the way. And all in all, I really don't regret anything about com coming to school. I know a lot of people have like a lot of opinions about going to college for art, but I say do it if you can, all in all. But I probably should get back to work and actually start painting <laughs> because you know it's due next week um i have like a to-do list that i made 
and I just didn't realize that it was it came up this fast. It's nuts. So I really want to eat some berries though. We have raspberries and, and blackberries and blueberries. Yeah, we'll eat some more maybe, you know. Give ourselves like a 15 minute break. Solid 15 minute break. Those are really good. I don't know if I want to try the other ones. Should I? They're blackberries, I think. That was way too sour. I shouldn't have tasted it. Well, that indicates that I should actually start painting. My goal today is to get this painting done. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It is going to happen. Going to happen. This last week, leading up to basically like turning everything in was it was crazy stressful I was so joyful there's just a lot of emotions that go into it and um, I wanted to take time to just talk about and explain what it's like to be a student you know going and pursuing art into college and preparing for your first show is it's insane and, you know, not many artists who are self-taught um, have this opportunity to even, like, you know, have an actual show. And um, my college, for going for my bachelor's degree, you know, in fine arts, they, they make everybody in the fine art department, like, you have to show something to graduate. You have to have a concept. And I finally get the courage to get this one piece done. I've been working on this for probably like six or eight months, almost a full full year. Like it was pretty close to almost a full year, but it wasn't just a, a couple months over half of a year. And um, every single piece, especially my paintings, um, for my paintings, I only use specific objects for each one. Um, I'll probably be making another video just to talk about, you know, my actual artwork I showed and everything. Um, the piano piece that I did uh, finished a couple months ago, that one's in it. Um, but preparing for my first show, it was, it was just crazy and like surreal to think about everything that's led up to this moment and like all the hard work that I've put into like going to college and I just want to encourage anybody out there that's thinking about it, like obviously do your research where you want to go if you want to go into fine arts for college, um, apply yourself, like enjoy it. Um, and just don't be afraid to ask for help. And yeah, it, it's crazy. I don't know. There's just so many emotions going on. Like I am going to graduate literally in the month and I'll be completely done with school. Like no more schooling. I'm like free range. I get to do what I want. And I don't know, it's just crazy to think about because I feel like for my entire life, you know, it's just school, school, school and get your straight A's and whatever. But I definitely don't regret going to school for art. And I know a lot of people have different opinions on it. Like, you know, you're wasting your time. You're just going to end up, you know, being a barista or whatever. But why? Why do something that you're not going to love the rest of your life? You know, obviously college isn't for everybody. And some artists even make it without going to college. And uh, good for you. Like, if you don't have to pay and fork over the amount you need to, um, don't, don't do that. But if you also do have the, like, opportunity to go, like, I say go. Like, take some ch chances in life. Like... Don't be afraid to, you know, explore something you haven't before. I think that's the biggest thing I took away from going to college for art is like, 
At first, I was so controlled and had this idea that I just wanted to make everything like realistically and not from like a modern point of view. And then it's like I developed my ideas and learned all the art history stuff that I need to and I just really enjoyed it. It was it was a good time here at campus. I'm gonna miss it for sure, but at the same time, I'm just ready to, ready to start a new chapter, you know? Not the same thing going day in and day out of going to, you know, classes and stuff that I don't really need like math or whatever. <laughs> you get the point. <laughs> It was, it was a lot this week, um, preparing for my first show. I had a lot of emotions going through my head, like, what's gonna happen next? Um, and yeah, there's a lot of things that I'm thinking of right now. Literally graduating this semester and moving on to the next thing, which I'm really excited about. Like, don't get me wrong, I, love, I loved college and the experience that I made and using college to its full potential. I feel like a lot of artists, when they are going into like, you know, into the fine arts field, you really gotta apply yourself. You have to work towards doing your best. Obviously don't overwork yourself, you'll get burnt out. I've done that a couple times, but you really gotta, you gotta try your best and you never know what's gonna happen or who's gonna, you know, help you out or sometimes people aren't gonna like what you make and you have to stay strong during those difficult moments in life. It's really tough. Don't get me wrong, I, I totally understand. But I'm really excited for my show and graduating this year. I am not sure about graduate school, but I just wanted to talk about preparing for my first show. It's, it's a lot. There's a lot that goes into it that people don't realize, so yeah.